You're listening to the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce and tech news, presented by Sumo Heavy. Here's your host, Bart Moraz. This is the E-Commerce Minute for October 26th, 2017. Amazon Key opens the door for in-home deliveries. Amazon was built on the premise of ordering something online and getting it to your door. Now they're taking it one step further and delivering that package safely inside of your home. On Wednesday, the e-commerce giant introduced Amazon Key, a program for Amazon Prime members that when linked to an internet connected door lock, grants entry to delivery people or otherwise, other authorized folks like friends, house cleaners, dog walkers, side chick, whatever. The service paired with a new Amazon built security camera called Cloud Cam records deliveries, beaming live recorded video to a smartphone app. Once the kit is installed, customers can select an in-home delivery option at checkout. Amazon will send a notification when a package is about to be delivered, giving customers the options to cancel in-home delivery and ask for the package to be left outside or to watch the in-home delivery take place live or to view a recording later. Why would you use this? Well, if you've got a problem with porch pirates, the people who steal your packages constantly, or if you know something is being delivered during some inclement weather would be a great example. But the real key to this strategy is that Amazon Key could create an incentive to browse Amazon's marketplace of home service providers, some of whom Amazon says in the coming months will be able to seamlessly gain entry to the home when the resident isn't there. CloudCam users are encouraged to enter Alexa's world too, with the, the capability to display the live footage on Amazon Echo Show devices using voice commands. And of course, the in-home delivery concept requires the old $99 a year Prime subscription. Bundles that include cloud cam and a compatible smart lock start at $250. Amazon Key will launch in 37 cities and surrounding areas, including Seattle and the east side, starting November 8th. Of course, it requires $99 Prime subscription. <laughs> That's the catch. <laughs> well, kind of. I mean, if you really think about it, like, I know we're talking about this, but $99 for Prime, like, as much as it gives you, it's not a bad deal. Yeah, well, it's it's that's they're they're trying to keep it a no brainer. Um, All um, right, so let's get into it. So, uh, <laughs> we got a lot to say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Walmart, we reported on Walmart doing this with your groceries uh, a few weeks ago. That was kind of interesting. Um, and then we were like, eh. and then I was like, "All right, well, I guess <laughs> Amazon is catching up and get like." Let's put stuff in your yeah, we and again the, the trunk thing, and then now it's in your house. Yeah, and again the the the, the thing about the differentiation between Amazon and Walmart is that Walmart uses third parties. Like they have, they were using August smart home devices and mm-hmm. a third party company called the Live, um, whereas Amazon they just they keep it all in house. Yep. So that's where they'll win in the long run. So Walmart got out the gate first, great. But who's talking about Walmart now? Amazon, you know, this Amazon, I was, I thought I was having a deja vu when I was reading this headline. I'm like, I did didn't we just thing. talk about this? Then we took an Amazon thing and then we looked back and it was like, no, wait a minute, it's Walmart. <laughs> right. But, but you read, you read enough tech news. What was it? What was the top headline? That's why we're doing this story today. I wasn't going to do this story, but it's, it's on every tech, yeah. every tech blog. It's, it's, you know, it's what everyone's right, talking talk about, about. Let's talk about the trust issues. Yeah. So again, it's, people are going to have a lot of, problems just letting random strangers into their house but you had said like we off mic that you said like you know that's what people thought about uber and that's what you know other well, services airbnb. that are or airbnb it's like i thought airbnb was you know a pretty wacky thing but now it's it's, it's become the norm so you know i guess i guess this is the kind of things that we're going to get used to but here's a great insight from the washington post they really they, they kind of bashed it and it's weird because the washington post is owned by bezos um, they said, the thought processes of Silicon Valley innovators are a curious thing. Many observers have noticed that the most common proposals seem to fall into the category of things that I, a 25 year old man, wish that I could still get my mother to do for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny line. Um, it's, it's a funny true. line. It's funny because it's true. <laughs> it's kind of true. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, ugh. All right, so we're running out of time, but they, 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 Amazon really got roasted on social media for this. So I really had to look at some of these. Amazon key is good news for me, the incredibly lazy serial killer. <laughs> Amazon key, hell no. Uh, where's the other ones? I don't know. Uh, and that's lots what of people Jack, say, right? Lots like, of Jack Nicholson photos. Yeah, so. I don't know, man. Uh, uh, people are saying that, and I bet you it's going to be a norm in a few years. Yep. 
All right. Anything else? We're running out of time. I keep on shopping. All right. That's your e-commerce minute. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today. If you like the show, make sure you add us as a favorite and share this with your friends. Please follow us on social media at Sumo Heavy. And finally, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion for the show, call us on Anchor. Until next time, we'll see you on the next e-commerce minute. The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.